pizza. It's fucking Kristoff. Yes. Everything else is piss. Mama! What's going on, prospectors? Dig Daddy out here in the shed, bringing you another episode of Backyard Prospecting. And that's right, today we're getting crunk, and we're getting some crystalline pay dirt from Vendetta Prospecting. So, I got an email, and if you're on his mailing list, you would have got one too, that let me know that he's got a special run of five bags left, or it was five bags when I got the email, of his special crystalline pay dirt. It's got crystally gold in it. And I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. I want to check that out. And so I picked myself up a bag. Came to me in this little pretty green envelope, bubbly padded. Set me back about 33 bucks. So it's not too bad. And uh, there we go. It's not double bagged, but it is heat sealed. So that's good. Nice quality Mylar bag. I like that. It's kind of like the ones that I just picked up myself. Now, I'll put up a description page here for you once I get out. Out of, out of the way, I'll cover all that shit with it. And what we got, Vendetta Prospecting Rare Crystallized Gold Pay Dirt, 10 ounces, $33. Very limited edition crystallized gold from Northern Nevada. The pay dirt in these bags will be our superstition edition. However, the gold is quite different. Right from the high uh, mountains of Nevada, this gold is a collector's dream. Rare crystallized wire gold and specimens alone with some super oh wire and specimens alone with some super fine crystallized gold make this a very fun and challenging pay dirt for more information go somewhere read superstition edition blah, 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 blah. you can expect about 60 percent roi with spot prices being around 60. this is not a high average roi offering um but 60 percent's not too bad Bags will be about 10, 10 ounces of pay dirt, and it is guaranteed to have at least a quarter gram of crystallized Northern Nevada gold. All right, let's do this. So like I say, the bag's right here, it's ready to go. We're gonna dump this out, check it out, get it wet, and run it down the sluice. So don't go anywhere. We're gonna check out some of Vendetta Prospecting's rare crystalline gold pay dirt. All right, so let's dump this out and take a quick look at the product that we're working with. And then if we need to, we'll uh, classify it out, shake it down a bit, but we'll take a look first, see what, we're, see what we got. It's a superstition mine stuff, so only a few bigger pieces. Looks like, you know what, honestly, I could probably just pick out the above quarter inch pieces out of here, you know, with my fingers. There's only like two or three anyways. Two. All right, maybe four. Either way, not many at all. A handful. So I'll, I'll throw it through the quarter inch stuff, just or the quarter inch classifier just to make it easy. But overall, this is what we got. This is what we're working with. I'll zoom in for you so you can get it up close and personal with this dirt. Mm, mm, mm. And that's what we're working with. Now, might as well check for some magnetics in here. Only a little bit of Maggie's. Just a tiny small amount. Not going to overwhelm us or kick our ass in the end. I see some gold right there. Uh, it's kind of wiry. Ran off before I could grab it. <laughs> All right, let us find ourselves some containers and uh, shake this gold out, get these big rocks out of the way. And my 
heater just ran out of gas. Alright, since this is all pretty pretty decent sized pater, like I say, I'm just going to pull the big stuff out and we'll just run it like this. So that's what we got out of quarter inch plus. And this is everything below. And you know what? I think we're just gonna run it like this. I don't find any uh, need to classify it further. It's only 10 ounces of dirt. So this should go pretty quick. So let's head over here, fire up the sluice, get this dirt wet, and find us some gold. Stick around. Stir it all nice and wet. Now the pay itself is from the Superstition Mine. Looks about right. A little bit of organics in there, but uh, to be expected from natural pay dirt. And all right, let's run this down and find us our gold. All right, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, yeah buddy. Here, let's zoom in so you can see. There's your gold, baby, and most definitely some chunky crystalline stuff all over the place. Shiva me timbas. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, a couple bigger pieces down, down here at the end of the gold zone. Not much of anything past that, of course, but uh, all right. Let's get this cleaned up and get our gold.
in and give you a good shot. There's the money shot. There's your gold, baby. How about that? Some beautiful crystalline gold. We'll get some close-up pictures of that here in a moment, but not too shabby. A lot of fine, fine gold in there. A lot of crystalline stuff. Nice little piece of quartz that has some gold attached to it as well. So a little bit of everything in this one. Not bad at all. All right, well, we're going to get this suckered up. We'll dry it out, weigh it up, blah, 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 and tell you what it's all about. Don't go anywhere. All right, welcome back. We got this gold all dried up, cooled down, ready to pound. Mine are bobbing the ass or hanging by to check out what Vendetta has sent us. And uh, let's fire up the scale. Hello. Now remember this is Vendetta's crystal gold, 10 ounces of pay dirt, quarter gram guaranteed. Crystalline gold all up the, in that shit. Not bad, not bad at all. And what we're bringing home today is 0 0.403 grams of gold. Not too bad for a quarter gram bag, let me tell you what. 0 0.403, lock it in, grams of gold. There you go. Not bad at all. Law crystalline, pretty crystalline gold, wire gold, lots of it, flower gold in there. And then, of course, like I was saying, there's one piece that is still in its quartz. It's host rock. Uh, so that's pretty cool as well. But, yeah, there you go. 0 0.403. It's dropped down because it's shuffling, but... Or 4.0. Somewhere in there. Either way... Happy camper. Now, we're going to get this all put away. I'm going to take a couple pictures so you guys can get up close and personal. But then I'll be back with my final words and ROI. Welcome back. Man, what a good time that was. Now, as always, let's talk about the dirt, then we'll talk about the gold, how we do it around here. Uh, the dirt, 10 ounces of pay dirt, came from Superstition Mine, or the Superstition Mountains. Uh, it is exactly like the stuff you find in his Superstition Pay Dirt packages. So, uh, gone through that before. It's very quartzy stuff. Uh, not a whole whole hell of a lot of magnetics in there, so it's not too difficult to go through. This kind of pay dirt, because there's a lot of fines in it, I would absolutely recommend go through it slowly. Um, you know, a pan at a you know, a little little scoop in your pan at a time. Uh, if you overload it and you're not that that good on panning, uh, you may be losing some gold. So I definitely go slow through it. Not only just for that reason, but to make it last a little longer, because it is only 10 ounces of dirt. Uh, you want to get your full entertainment value out of it. But overall, the dirt was really easy to go through. There was some organics in there, not a lot of magnetics in there. And uh, I would say it's good dirt for just about anybody to go through. A beginner will definitely get some good practice there. A, uh, a novice will have a good time. And an expert will bust through that shit and get their gold. And that's going to put a smile on their face. So definitely good dirt all the way around. I recommend it to you. Go check it out. Now, let's talk about the gold. The gold in this particular bag, though it's based on the Superstition uh, pay dirt, the gold itself is unique. It's from northern Nevada is where it gets it from. It's a lot of crystalline gold. Very, very pretty stuff. You saw the pictures of it. Um, a lot of it has little chunks of quartz in it, so that was pretty cool as well. Um, but yeah, how much do we get? 0.403 grams of gold so almost a little bit under a half a gram definitely above that quarter gram that was guaranteed um and i gotta say i was really happy getting it 
crystalline gold, kind of rare. You don't see it a lot. Usually by the time the gold makes its way down to the river, um, it's all rounded off, smoothed out, so you get the more nuggety kind of look rather than the crystalline or the wire gold. Uh, those are going to be gold that you're getting that's closer to the source, maybe even at the source, right out of things like quartz, host rock, is going to leave the gold in a crystalline kind of structure. Looks really cool, especially when you get a nice big piece of it and it's sitting out there and it's, it shows you what pure naturalized gold looks like. Very unique, not dirty, very clean gold. Um, and uh, definitely, if you haven't gotten any before, it's worth checking it out and seeing what that's like. It's, it's pretty interesting stuff. Uh, so I was really happy to see that. It's really cool stuff. Uh, I'll go ahead and put up the, the sign right here. What we got for our bag. Bag cost us $33. What we found, 0 0.043 grams of gold. At today's value, that's going to be $24.91. Bear in mind, this was shipped to me free, so I, I saved on shipping. 20, yeah, 33 bucks is 33 bucks. That's what I paid for it to get to my door. Um, but ignoring the shipping being free, what that wound up being for me is a 75% ROI. Better if you factor in the fact that shipping you didn't pay nothing for. Um, but even still, 75%, that's some damn good ROI. I'll take that and I will smile all day because I had a really good time going through the dirt. I think you would too. So I'd recommend checking it out. He said he only had a few bags of it left. When I went on his site, it looked like I could order one. So go check it out. I'll leave a link down below. If that happens to sell out, hit him up. He may be able to make up a few more bags or a bag for you uh, or something custom. Mike does some awesome pay dirt uh, along with the selection that he has there. One of those allows you to build your own bag, so you can just tell them how much gold you want and how much dirt you want, where do you want the dirt from, and you're going to get a bunch of dirt with a bunch of gold or whatever you chose. So check that out. Check out his page. Check out his YouTube page. Uh, give him a subscribe over there. Great guy, great community member, and uh, absolutely recommend his materials. Uh, so check him out. Again, link down below. Check that out. And that's it. That's what I got for you today. This is Dig Daddy signing off from the shed. If you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. If you're not a subscriber, hit that one too. Don't forget to also hit the bell so you get notified anytime I put out some new content. You want all notifications. You don't want to miss anything. And then make sure to join me here Friday nights, 5 p.m. Pacific for BSing in the shed. We're just like it says, we're BSing out here in the shed. And, uh, and then we run a little bit of dirt. So don't miss out on that. And again, this is Dig Daddy, signing off from the shed. If I don't see you out at the rivers, I'll catch you in the backyard. Peace.